Hey there, welcome. I'm still in the process of, of figuring out what kind of layouts I want for my 2022 bullet journal. And for me, part of the process of making that decision involves playing around with spread ideas in different notebook sizes. I take the time to do this not only because planning and journaling are hobbies for me, but also because, well, I have this channel and I enjoy sharing planning tips and ideas. I have collected several spread ideas. I may not use many of them, but it serves me as a sort as a sort of catalog that I want to share with you. This whole process of playing around with spread, with spread ideas, it helps me visualize what it would feel like in terms of, you know, space mostly and working with the paper of each notebook. So I will start with my A5 spread ideas. So this bullet journal, I got it around April and I got it precisely because I see many ideas on Pinterest or YouTube or Instagram for bullet journaling and instead of going through pictures and files within my apps, um, I just I decided to just sketch uh, things I liked and then my own ideas for a bullet journal even though at the moment I was not working with a bullet journal. So here I was playing around with different ways of do, doing a future log. Um, I like that I, here I was playing with different headers like just the number, um, lettering, and different ways of writing down the month and separating for example events, appointments, to-dos or just have it in a bullet journal method style just the days of the month and then write things down maybe divide it in weeks and or just use a blank space for brain dump another one that I liked was this one this one I think is useful for those times when you really need to work with a monthly spread and you know you need the space. So I try to do the monthly spread in the whole in, in two pages, taking all the space as you can see, and then maybe having trackers here at the top. And this is the, the kind of the original weekly spread that I started working with. Uh, very simple. For my current bullet journal, this is what my monthlies look like. And some going back to a bullet journal has helped me figure out what I really need in a planner. And this backspace where I plan my budget uh, on my with my first paycheck and my second paycheck. Uh, I think this is the part I use the most out of my monthly layout. I mean, I do use this space for reference, but most planners have this. The reason why I'm keeping up with a bullet journal is because this part is the section that I find most useful for me. Um, like planning my budget and having like a summary of uh, everyday events. And this is what my weeklies are looking like currently. I dropped the timeline because, you know, November, December, I don't feel like being very strict with my um, time blocking or, you know, doing very, very, I don't feel like being very strict with my schedule. So I just leave a blank space to play around and just write things down and not care too much about um, specific times for, for doing things. And I, I've been liking the freedom. This is the first week that I tried working without a timeline. So this is what November looks like. December, I only have these boxes to write down events. And if I need a timeline, a timeline I can add it here or I can ju just use the blank space. And what else? Yeah. So this is how I have the rest of 2021. Okay, so these are my A5 
um, spread ideas. Because next year I want to work with... Well, I want to leave this one for last. Let me go with a, a, A6. Because my return to bullet journaling happened in May and it happened in this A6 notebook. This is a Nanamika Cafe notebook. I did like my weeklies. I did one, two days per page and one, the, like the, 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 the first page was always like a brain dump for the week and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I did time blocking in here. And I did enjoy this layout, but uh, this whole process of going back to bullet journaling, of working with the freedom of a blank space, of a blank page, I felt like I wanted to work with more space. That's why I moved my bullet journal into a five size notebook. But if you like working with a smaller size, this could be a good idea. And I tried to play around with this kind of design in a standard size. So I tried seeing how it would look, you know, two days per page and a timeline. I don't love how, I don't love how long it looks, but if standard size is your thing, uh, this may work for you. So I have like a week at a glance in here to do shopping, working on upcoming, reading, watching notes, and then my dailies like this. Or you can have one day per page to do in one side and then a timeline. And I think this, this reminds me of the um, Jibun Techo daily planner. I think the, the, the ones that have one day per page also have like a timeline in the middle and then you can do your appointments on one side and your tasks on the other side. And the, I tried also seeing what my weekly in this kind of format in this kind of format what it would look like in a standard size and I do like it a lot. Well, this, is, uh, this design is um, more similar to the one I have in the green Leuchtturm. And the space is fairly good uh, to do tasks and I actually considered working uh, doing, I actually considered doing my bullet journal in standard size because I do like the way my weeklies would look in this notebook size. Okay, um, I also played around with the Hobonichi Weeks size because I do my weeklies in advance before I use the notebook. For example, here I did my weeklies for four months in one sitting to have it ready for um, the last quarter of the year. The thing is, um, if I want to work with a smaller notebook that has maybe 150 pages, um, I don't want to do weeklies that will go to waste because I ran out of space on my notebook. Um, so I thought about using uh, Hobonichi Weeks Expanded to do my weekly view with time tracking, with time blocking, and have it there, and then my world journal on its own. So if I run if I run out of space on my bullet journal, I would not have all like weekly spreads going to waste. I hope that makes sense. I think it will make more sense when I do the video of, uh, showing you my 2022 planning lineup. Long story short, I had been playing with layouts in the Hobonichi weeks size. So I tried seeing what my uh, time blocking would look, like, would look like if I take most of the space. I don't love this one, but it could work for someone else. 
I tried seeing it in like more constricted or narrow space and have the bottom for notes and this is my favorite and this is actually the, the design I'm going with for 2022 um, there was another one oh here so here I was playing around with the position of my wick if I want to have space on the top and the bottom or just the bottom section of the notebook. And I also played around with what my wig would look like in here for messy planning. So this is one idea where I have my appointments and main scheduled event in the left column. This would be for tasks. This would be for social media planning, trackers, um, tasks for the week and things I want to get done regarding my social media. So all these elements I play around seeing what I like the most. Instead of the social media uh, tracking, I tried seeing what my weather would look like in here. And <laughs> I also uh, tried to see Instead of having my time blocking here, what it would look like in here. If you're familiar with Nolte, they have this tiny planner that has kind of this, the week in this kind of layout where you have the days on the left and a blank page on the right. And they have the times of the day on the top. Um, in Japanese, because you can write, in because you can write top to bottom, it would work great. But I was seeing how it would look uh, writing across and I kind of like it uh, but I don't love it <laughs> it could work for someone mm, I didn't love it for myself okay so this is these are the weekly spreads that I played around with and last but not least I tried a B6, B6 size. This is a B6 Galen leather notebook. It has blank paper, but it also comes with. Where are they? These kind of grid templates to, you know, you add it, you uh, place it underneath your page, and then it's easier to do uh, your layouts. So, I tried seeing what my monthly would look like. I really like it. I love this. I love the space. I love the size. I love the Toma River paper. The thing is, while the grid does help um, doing this kind of work, um, one thing is doing, you know, four, month, four monthlies. Uh, because I expect each bullet journal to last me for a quarter. One thing is to do four monthlies, <laughs> and a completely different thing would be to do, you know, all of these weekly spreads, uh, trying to position this uh, grid template underneath. I'm, I mean, it's so, it's so much easier when the your paper is already great. I do all my weekly spreads in one sitting, you know, before working in my bullet journal. First of all, because if I depend on doing them every month, some months I just don't feel like doing it. And I've, I don't know, I've, I've, I lose momentum with my planning. I like to have things set. For example, this past week, I have not been very consistent with my daily planning. I have just been in a funk, so I have not been really doing daily planning. And it has been such a relief having this space to uh, write things down and not worry about setting anything up or preparing anything. This is just here for me to uh, write things down if I don't feel like, you know, working with my dailies. 
So when it comes to planning, I do need some kind of foundation to work with. And having my, at least four months of, or, or three months of weeklies gives me that structure and foundation to not lose track of things when, you know, when things get too busy or too hectic or I just don't feel like doing much, I'm just exhausted. Uh, those weeks do happen and having something to work with, with already keeps me on track. So for me, it is not an option to do, like most people who do bullet journal, my weeks each month that comes. Uh, at least in most bullet journaling videos I've seen, the whole plan with, me, plan with me videos are about setting up each month, your monthly and the weeks of the month. That for me is not an option because it doesn't work for me, it just doesn't. So if I, uh, for me to use this as a bullet journal, I would have to do my weeklies, um, have my weeklies somewhere else, either in the Hobonichi Expanded or, um, or another like, you know, weekly planner. So here's a sneak peek. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega. This is a sneaker weeks that I have. And where is it? Here. This is how I'm going to work my week. So here I'm going to work with my schedule. And this weekly space would be for messy planning. You know, just uh, for example, if I'm in January and someone told me tells me there's going to be a meeting in April or May, I just go down to that date and write down and write things down and plan my meals and my you know habits in here. But here is where I'm thinking I will do my um, schedule and my time blocking uh, when I feel like having that. So sneak peek. Uh, this is going to be kind of my planning process for 2022 and I'm super happy with the way it looks right now. I love this. So in, in, uh, unlike my weeklies in here where I have a timeline, because of this, because the space is more constrained in here, I have the times just in, on the side and I think that works for what I need and I love how it looks. So for now, I have January and February ready to go. I'm only going to have those two months in here to see how I feel and if this kind of space works with me. And if not, I'll figure something else out, but so far I'm, lo I'm loving how this looks. So that I'm going to go into more detail with this in my 2022 lineup. And yeah, I'm super happy with this, these two notebooks. I love the feeling of this Galen leather. Uh, the paper, I love Tomoe River paper. I love this bendy cover, like very flexible cover, the way it feels. I love the Hobonichi sneaker weeks. So stay tuned for my 2022 like full lineup reveal. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.